people always ask me, why do I come back to Sarawak? I was back in Malaysia in 1998. Until 2011, I actually stayed away from politics. I grew up in politics. My parents hardly have time for me. And that's why for so long, I never want to go in. And now, things are not doing as well as I want. If I don't go in, I will stand to regret forever. That I got opportunity, but I don't grab it. As a cardiologist, I will earn more money in Australia than I ever earned in Malaysia. So I choose to come back to Malaysia and to Sarawak, and I choose to work in a public hospital. Imagine we started with two doctors starting in the heart centre, and now the heart centre has more than 15 specialists, getting 50 million a year, and world famous. For each of these patients, if you go to private, you are talking between 20 to 50,000. In a private hospital, they get it for 500 ringgit. So, in one way, I am very happy that whether you are rich or poor, there is no excuse that you cannot afford to be treated you got heart disease. I'm a medical oncologist, so I see patients with cancer, and I'm from Sarawak. I've known Prof Sim a long time. He's as enthusiastic as he is now. He walked very fast, faster than anyone we know, and he's like this in rounds as well. He is a, a genuine person and a true leader. I remember that he will always organise once a week a dedicated time for MO teaching. He will usually sit us down and say, is there anything that you want to ask? Is there anything that you want to learn? He always made himself available. So I think, to me, he's a very genuine mentor. Yeah. I still go back to the hospital every Tuesday. It's not so much to see patients. The most important thing is for me to teach students. And now with good people around, I must give them opportunity. In medicine, you can do so much. Other departments, so many younger people in my life, they don't get enough funding. How are you going to fight for them? And in order for me to do more, I have to go into politics now. My kampung is just only toll, T-O-L. Toll is temporary uplands, temporary. The residents stay over there or about 20 plus years, but never in, appeared in a mat. You see, how sad is it? That's why I'm working days and night, days and night, because I need my kampung to be better. What we want is our future, lah. our future more better. That's why I don't care what others are saying to me. You campaign for me? No. I'm not campaign just for myself, for all the end partners for the cover. In 2011, when you stay in politics, I lost. And, and we understand. You know, a lot of people respect me as a person. And they're not sure that I can be in politics. I got the criteria to be in politics. You see, in one year, as a party president, my hair all grow white. One year only. Because why? Every day, from morning in the morning, early in the morning until midnight, it's not your time. I realize that quality is so tough. And that's why I said earlier on, I chose now to, to go into politics full time two years ago. Walaupun it's not uh, berapa fasih in bahasa, like you, not fasih, tapi he tried his best. He's a humble. I, I rasa I dengan dia like brothers and sister, you know. He got this attitude, uh, got this system of working, he got teamwork also. He's good going to the down, meet people, talk to people, know the people problem. Dia juga seorang pemimpin merendahkan diri. Sebab itu uh, senang didamping oleh uh, masyarakat. Now say that we join us. He's very happy. He's not a bad guy. He's a good 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 guy. He
，我这点他也是真正有心要来来改革这个人民党，带领这个人民党去做的更进步了。其实我觉得他是一个很好的大意思啊，很好的一个思想，这个我觉得。No, let's give us like what he says, a positive encouragement. Every time we go, he will give us advice, encouragement. All good stuff like that. Whatever races we are, whether we are black or white or yellow or or Iban or Chinese or white, whoever we are, he still accept us as one of his. That's why I think he's very admirable. We all see him as someone who genuinely wanted to do something for the community. The spirit is the same. He dare to speak for the people. He dare to fight for the people. He dare to serve the people. When you empower to do something, do it. Don't regret it later. Not everybody had that opportunity in life. Losses are part of normal. Failure is part of normal. Never let losses of failure stopping you from moving forward or standing out again. And that make you a better person. I always believe that if I go in, if I can set the world on the policy, it will benefit a lot more people.